All right, so for today, what we're going to do is we're moving on to our chapter six. So all of your notes and everything will be in chapter six. We've got three new standards. We've got uh, slope intercept form, which we've talked about before. Done it before. Um, we've done standard form, not as much, and then parallel and perpendicular lines. Now you're going to see this next year in geometry. Um, we don't spend as much time in it in geometry, and this is kind of like if you learn it really well in algebra, when you get to geometry, you're going to be like, sweet, easy section. Like I remember all of this. Okay. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to write linear equations in slope-intercept form. So first of all, write an equation of a line with the slope of negative 4 and the y-intercept of 6. Well, let's review a little bit slope-intercept form. What is the equation? y equals mx plus b. Notice how it's coming easy because we've done it, right? Um, what letter stands for slope? Yes, my m. So my m is my slope. And what is my y-intercept? B, B. It is B. Super. Okay, so we know what our slope is. We know what our y-intercept is. We know the equation. So this problem is now going to be easy, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so I've got the slope of negative 4. So I've got y equals what? negative 4 x, x and my y-intercept is 6 so it's going to be plus six. plus 6 done so that's all you have to write what I've circled for the problem on your assignment okay why did I write down y equals x plus b and all that other stuff because I reviewed a little bit for you all right but notice how last chapter we did this you were tested on it and now it's easy Okay, when you stay current in math, this stuff's easy. It's not hard. You can definitely do it. All right, let's keep going. We're going to write an equation of the line shown. Okay, so I still need it in the form y equals mx plus b. And what do I need to find? Yes. The slope of y intercept. Good. So I need my m. And I need my B. Do I know what my slope is? Did they give it to me? They didn't say the slope was negative 4. But I can figure it out, can I? How do I find it? When they give me a graph, what do I do? Yes? Is it the uh, X? Like, um, the X in the parentheses? Is it the X in the parentheses? Like, like the, uh, the x intercept. Okay, uh, do you know what the x intercept is or the y intercept is? Yeah. You know what the y intercept is. What is it? It's 4. It's right here, right? So that's my b. I don't put 0 in, it's 4. So I know what my b is. How do I find my slope when they give you a graph? Because you did this last chapter. How did you find it? Yeah. Isn't it the uh, down and over? Yeah. So what do you do with the down and the over? What do you, you, you count them, don't you? Okay, so I'm going to choose the point I get, to, I get to first, which is 0, 4. And I'm moving up or down to get to the other point. Yeah. I'm going to move down. So I'm going to move down 1, 2, Three, four, five, six. So what do I write? Negative, Negative six, because I went down, right? Okay, and then I'm moving right. So how many do I move right? One, two, three. So I'm going to put it over three. So what's my slope? Negative six. Negative two, right? Because I reduce it. Remember doing that? Remember counting? Okay. So let's write my equation. I got y equals, what's my slope? Negative 2x plus, 
plus 4, and I'm done. So remember, when they give you the graph, you can count it. What could you also do? If you feel uncomfortable with counting and you want to make sure that I know this is what my slope is, what could I do? How'd you find slope before? Excellent. That lovely formula, remember? Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Remember, we labeled our points? Yeah, you should all of a sudden have that. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember that. Right? It wasn't too long ago. All right. So let's take a look at this. It says write an equation for a linear function with those values. Okay? So we're going to use what you just said. Um, ordered pairs. Don't let function notation scare you. Okay, what would be this ordered pair? F of zero equals four. Yeah. Zero and four. Yeah, excellent. Zero, four. It's all set up, ready to go. What is the other ordered pair? Two and twelve. Yep, it's all ready to go. Now again, I want it in slope intercept form. So I'm looking at y equals mx plus b. I need to find my slope and I need to find my y-intercept. So I need to find those pieces. Do I know my slope? No. Do I know my y-intercept? Yes. What's my y-intercept? Four. How, why is it four? How did you get four? four. Yeah, it's right there. It's paired right here, isn't it? Yep, it's paired. My x is zero, my y is four, so I know that it's four. Okay. I don't know my slope. Should I graph this and try to find my slope? Sure. I could. Why don't we use our formula? Yep. Yep. So I'm going to call this point one. I'm going to call this point two. Um, M equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay. And I've got um, x1, y1 x2, y2. Remember that? Mm -hmm. It should be like, oh, Mrs. Nepic, seriously, I remember this. It's so easy. Okay, write this down. Well, I'm doing it. I'm not doing it for my health because I know how to do it. Label your points. Make sure you label your points. Because you know exactly what I want. Okay, what's my y2? 12 minus 4 over minus, good. What's my numerator? 8 over 2, right? Okay, and what's 8 divided by 2? 4, so what's my slope? 4, okay, now I've got to come up with my equation. So I'm going to bring this down, what's my equation? y equals 4x plus four, done. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, right? I don't have to graph it. I don't have to make a table. I just find my slope. So notice how the test that we last took, okay? You guys knew what you were doing. This is easy. Should be easy. Should be hard. It's hard. You probably didn't do what you're supposed to in the last chapter. Any questions on this? All right, that's it for today.